Hey, I'm Nick Manaki from Surf Shop TV. We're here at the Sunbum booth at Surf Expo September 2011 with Dustin of Sunbum. Um, he's going to kind of take us through the, the range of products for the upcoming 2012 season and uh, talk a little bit about the Sunbum culture. That They're a little bit edgy. They've got the gorilla and uh, they've been blowing up since day one. So going to go ahead and turn it over to Dustin. Dustin, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you guys have coming out for the consumers here. Uh, well, we started off in, uh, in Cocoa Beach, Florida, and we kind of all set out to, set, to make, a, make a sunscreen that we wanted to use that kind of brought the edge back to sunscreen, made them fun again. And uh, it's been a bit stagnant over the years, so we just kind of wanted to make something that was entertaining and just something that we wanted to use that felt good. That uh, This is called Pro. Uh, the whole idea with it, with this was was to make a, make a sunscreen that didn't feel like you were putting toothpaste on your face. That was okay, yeah. light, that you actually wanted to use, that feels good. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It doesn't hurt your eyes, and you don't walk out of the face with white all over the place. Um, we also designed the packaging to be small enough that it fits in your board shorts, uh, small enough to carry in a carry-on luggage. It's got a great rubbery tech textile feel. Um, and uh, we do 30s, 50s, and, uh, and face sticks as well. What's, what's something like this cost? I know like Headhunter, you know, they're probably, what, like 12 bucks maybe? Yeah, we're, we're pretty competitive within this, within like the, the core market with sunscreen. Um, it's, they go for $17 for the larger, the three ounce bottles, okay. um, which is competitive with, with companies, with sure. some of the other uh, surf screen companies. But. Sure. All right, so this is kind of what's hot uh, for summer, springs, anyway. Uh, all, yeah, all year round. All year round. Um, tell us a little bit about the culture, kind of the community. Uh, I know you guys do a pretty uh, gorilla uh, surf contest, so to speak. Um, but uh, tell us a little bit about the surf contest you guys did. Well, the, the brand as a whole, we, we've, whether it's our imagery or any of this, it's all it's a huge group of friends. And so any of the photos you see in our booth or in our catalog is all people that we know. And uh, and we all kind of sat around and we're like, well, how can we do a surf contest that was that was different, that was fresh and, and didn't it wasn't, it kind of was off the beaten path. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and, and edgy. Yeah. And so we camped the idea of showing up to random spots and not telling anybody that we're coming. No posturing, people are, uh, there's no like competitive nature in the water, yeah. just people hanging out with their friends. And uh, we hold a random contest, no entry fees, and then we hand somebody a thousand dollar check after a 15 minute heat. Hey, can't go wrong there. It's pretty sweet, it's That's a good awesome. event. That's awesome. We had, uh, we had we have a 12 year old from, uh, from uh, uh, Virginia Beach, he won the first one, so he went out and bought a brand new surfboard. Oh, nice. And uh, a couple of guys out in California. Got nice. three more stops to go this year. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, you guys do that? That's an East Coast tour and then and a West Coast tour? Or what? Uh, we did three stops in California, one in Malibu, Huntington Pier, and uh, Seaside down in, uh, near San Diego. Uh, we did another one at Virginia Beach, uh, First Street Jetty, uh, uh, Cape Hatteras, and then uh, one more down in um, up New Jersey. Cool. Very cool. Um, so the company, I, I don't think it's been along around maybe more than a, two years. I don't right know. Right around a, about a year, year and a half. Year and a half. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I can kind of remember. I recall the first time I saw Sunbum uh, at booth here at Surf Expo. It looks like you guys have been doing pretty well. Tell me, where can we find you? Um, uh, as a part of the reason we got into the sunscreen business, besides just wanting to make a cool brand, was also uh, we wanted to make something for specialty retail. And uh, the, the sunscreen market has, has been where a lot of specialty shops, surf shops, kite shops, they stopped carrying it because the 7-Eleven or the, the gas station on the corner has it. So we, we designed this specifically for specialty retail. You're not going to find it uh, in all the big outlet chain stores. And actually kind of a cool feeling to go to some of these larger corporations and say, no, we're not going to sell to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Let's say, uh, what, what products, um, I guess, what did you introduce um, more recently? Uh, I know the sunscreen is kind of the core market, but I, I saw some like skincare lotion, after sun yeah. care, things like that. What else? Uh, one of which was is called the uh, cucumber after sun. It's okay. a dry touch uh, spray. So a lot of people when they get sunburned, they don't necessarily want to rub rub something in yeah, on their right, back. Right. They don't necessarily feel good. So we have a nice uh, dry touch um, after sun oil, which is uh, cucumber extract. Okay, cool. Uh, another thing is some of our new towels. We have the new Protect Your Lazy Ass towels, which is our our, uh, our famous catchphrase. Awesome. And then the pros really have been the biggest thing. That's uh, sort of changing the game. Very cool, very cool. Well, we appreciate your time, yeah, Dustin. It's a pleasure. We'll take care, man.